after the video on the special weapons of the Primarchs, we shall now dive into the 20 Relic Blades, the special melee close combat weapons of the Astartes, the Space Marine chapters. They can take the form of a master crafted sword, a spear or an axe and possess an armor sundering power field, making it capable of tearing through heavy armor. These weapons have been depicted in works from the Horus Heresy onwards and have played significant roles in turning the tide of key battles throughout Warhammer's history. While some relic blades have been crafted in commemoration of important events in the Imperium's or Space Marine chapter's history, only a few have survived over the centuries. These rare weapons are reserved for Astartes or Space Marines of long and exemplary service who have proven themselves in countless battles defeating formidable enemies. So let's get into the 20 Relic Blades. Number 1. The Monster Slayer of Caliban This is a legendary weapon of the Dark Angels. It was once given to their most honorable fighters for a quest in Caliban's wilds. The blade is empowered by a powerful force generator but has become temperamental over time. Repairing it is beyond the tech marine's understanding. As long as its owner remains pure of mind, the monster slayer will be powerful enough to defeat any enemy. But if the user loses his faith, it will lose all his power. Number 2. The Sword of Secrets The Sword of Secrets is the mightiest among the Heavenfall Blades, swords that were made from an obsidian that struck the rock. The Dark Angel's fortress monastery in orbit around al -Baradad. Crafted from a single block of obsidian, its edge remains the razor sharp forever and undamaged even after millennia of use. This revered relic is carried by each Supreme Grand Master of the Dark Angels and currently belongs to Azrael. Number 3. The Heavenfall Blades There are four other of these relic blades, the Heavenfall Blades, that are wielded by the Dark Angels' mighty warriors. The Sword of Silence is one. It seems to swallow nearby light and sound, absorbing them into its glowing obsidian blade. The other three powerful Heavenfall Blades are the Raven Sword, the Fell Blade, and the Sword of Sanctity, which also utilize the small amounts of the obsidian taken from the meteorite in their workings. Number 4. The Perfidious Relic of the Unforgiven This is an ancient artifact of the Dark Angels Legion, which has been reclaimed by the Deathwing and occasionally wielded by the enigmatic Watchers in the Dark. While the specific details of these relics remain shrouded in mystery, their impact on the battlefield is well documented. Merely their presence has the ability to diminish the powers of enemy psychers and instill a deep sense of fear in those who oppose the Dark Angels. Number 5. The Glaives and Carmine Also known as the Encarmine Swords or Axes, these are powerful weapons wielded by the Blood Angel's Sanguinary God and the Angel of Vengeance, the Sanguinor. Crafted from a mysterious alloy called the Angel Steel, known exclusively to the Blood Angel's artificers, these blades are indestructible and impervious to damage. They come in various forms, including long swords and heavy axes known as axes and carmine. Number 6. The Soul Spear This is a mystical weapon believed to have been used by Rogel Dawn. When the Imperial Fist Legion was divided during the second founding, the spear was entrusted to the Soul Drinker's chapter. However, it was lost over a thousand years until a chapter rediscovered it on an abandoned star fort. The weapon's discharge is comparable to a controlled vortex missile in terms of power and impact, but more focused. Number 7. The Axe of Morkai The axe was initially a weapon devoted to Khorne, the Chaos God of War and Bloodshed. Containing a fragment of the Chaos God's power, after Logan Grimnar of the Space Wolves emerged victorious in the initial war for Armageddon against Angron and the World Eaters, he claimed the axe as a trophy. Through a process of reforging, the axe was transformed and the coronate power it held was constrained and restrained by the enchantments of Fenris. Nevertheless, the axe continues to emanate a vibrant red glow and emits an audible growl, symbolizing the lingering chaos power it possesses. Number 8. The Black Spear this is a revered artifact owned by the Minotaur's Space Marine Chapters. It is a lethal relic blade that incorporates a potent laser capable of a single devastating shot. Legend suggests that it was once wielded by the Adeptus Custodes themselves. Currently, Chapter Master Asteroid Moloch wields this weapon, which has been drenched in the blood of rebellious marines, powerful orc war bosses, elusive corsair princes, and even champions aligned with the forces of chaos. Number 9. The Black Sword this is a large power sword used by the champions of the Black Templars. It is blessed by the chapter chaplains and can be wielded with two hands or with one hand when paired with the Armor of Faith. The first black sword was given to Sigismund during the battle for the Imperial Palace. This versatile weapon capable of cutting through both flesh and armor effortlessly grants increased strength to the Black Templar who wields it. 
Number 10. The Blades of Caliban This is an ancient sword, often a power sword, favored by the elite company champions of the Dark Angel Space Marine chapter. These blades are revered relics of the chapter, each with a distinguished lineage tracing back to the time of the Great Crusade when the Dark Angels rediscovered their Primarch. Only the champions who have shown exceptional heroism and flawless service earn the privilege to wield these revered relic blades. Number 11. The Frostfang Frostfang, given its name due to the runes inscribed on its surface, is a formidable frostblade that was created many centuries ago by Fergus Fogrum, an esteemed master craftsman belonging to the Space Worlds chapter and was known as the Iron Priest. The chainsaw-like blade of the Frostfang is made from a scarce metal. Presently, this powerful weapon is wielded by Wolflord Ragnar Blackmane. Number 12. The Sword of the High Marshals Also known as the Sword of Sigismund, this is a master crafted power sword believed to contain fragments from the sword once wielded by the Primarch Rogel Dawn during the Horus Heresy. After failing to protect the Emperor aboard the Vengeful Spirit during the Siege of Terror, Dawn shattered his sword in anger and vowed never to wield it again. Sigismund, the first High Marshal of the Black Templars, had the shards reforged into this present form. Number 13. The Teeth of the Blizzard A Frostblade is a unique chainsaw exclusive to the Space Wolves. Crafted individually by a master iron priest, these blades often incorporate the diamond heart fangs of the Fenrisian Kraken. According to chapter legends, the most exceptional frost blades are made from ice, sourced from a glacier's core and tempered with a Kraken's belly. One such blade, the Teeth of the Blizzard, proved a formidable weapon against the Tyrannus of Behemoth. Number 14. The Traitor's Bane This is a master crafted two-handed force sword wielded by Ezekiel, the Grand Master of Librarians in the Dark Angels chapter. It radiates dark powers, designed to slay the betrayers of the Emperor. The blades face crystalline patterns coiled with iridescent psychic energy, rumored to contain trapped spirits of fallen enemies. Its victims suffer a painful demise, causing the blade to darken when it's near the fallen, which are space marine dark angels that turn against the lion during the Horus Heresy. Number 15. The Spear of Vulcan This weapon is among the nine artifacts of Vulcan crafted by the Primarch himself. This legendary weapon takes the shape of a massive mastercrafted spear once used by Vulcan in combat. Its blazing blade has the power to ignite ceramite armor. The Necron overlord Trazen the Infinite has long desired this coveted relic and has made two distinct endeavors to possess it, but have failed in each one of them. Number 16. The Blade of Triumph This is a radiant power broadsword, meticulously crafted and utilized by the champions of the Space Marine chapters. Its balanced blade bears the engraved names of past wielders commemorating their remarkable accomplishments. So by activating a concealed mechanism on the Electrum Grip, the wielder can supercharge the weapon's energy field, infusing it with a surge of fiery power that enables the blade to effortlessly cut through even the most resilient armor. Number 17. The Burning Blade This is a revered relic, a colossal sword retrieved from the Vengeful Spirit. Only a Space Marine has the strength to wield it due to its immense size. Interestingly, Unlike other artifacts recovered from the ship, the Burning Blade remains untainted by chaos. Some believe it may have been wielded by the Emperor himself, as it emanates his unparalleled greatness. In battle, the sword blazes with such intensity that it can melt even the ceramite armor of its wielder. Number 18. Mortis Machina This is a meticulously crafted power axe created in the sacred underground vaults of Mars. It has served as the weapon of choice for Masters of the Forge among the Space Marine chapters. This formidable axe not only cleaves through the metallic armor of war engines and vehicles, but also disrupts their very essence, known as the machine spirit. Even a mere grazing strike from a Mortis Machina has the capability to cripple an enemy tank or a walker. Number 19. The Vinculum Vitae This is an immensely potent and perilous force sword obtained from the battleground of Aeonus Verge. It was in that fateful clash where seven chief librarians from various chapters sacrificed their lives to banish a horde of Zinch demons. The aftermath left the Vinculum Vitae infused with the haunting psychic remnants of that encounter. Those who wield this weapon unleash a devastating surge of catastrophic energy with every strike. And number 20, the Demon Hammer. This is a rare, formidable two-handed warhammer crafted from an ancient advanced material. It bears hexagramic sigils and warding seals across its shaft, while on its head, it displays the burning sigil of the Inquisition. Surrounded by a crackling power field, these hammers are exclusively entrusted to esteemed individuals such as the Inquisitions of the Audio Malleus, which means the Demon Hunters, and also the Grey Knights. 
and also used by certain chapters who have vanquished formidable greater demons in battle. So those are the 20 powerful relic weapons of the Space Marines. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Do hit the like button for support and subscribe to push us through the YouTube algorithm. But most of all, smash that bell icon for regular updates on videos, new ones like this, on this channel. Take care, boys.